Hi everyone, it is Mike, and today we're going to go over property location, finding cash flowing properties. So once again, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments section. Um, we will go through and make sure this is um, very concise and quick so everyone who needs to go back to lunch can go back to lunch. But if you have any questions, put them there at the end. When we close everything down, we'll go over through the questions if we and uh, we should be able to get to every one of them. So we have a series going here of helping people get into and quickly start buying properties. Um, we've been doing this for 21 years, helping people, uh, mostly on the finance side, but we are starting on the property side too. Today, we're going to go through the basics of finding flat uh, cash flow properties, cash flow properties. So, you know, some of the basics are, you know, buying right, you buy something right, you're going to be in a good position to make money one way or the other. So that's what we want to do is go through that. We're going through a couple different series. So last time on the second week of the month, we went through, you know, the intro. So if you did not see that, uh, if you missed it, there's a link. You can go to our YouTube channel, Hard Money Mike. Um, you can check it out there. There's a lot of other information there, too. Our whole goal here is to make sure you have the, the fundamentals, the basics, for the people who are out there doing this and wanting to do this to get to the point as we call it free and three it does not matter if you're 20 or you're 40 or you're 50 if you do this you do this right which is real estate investing you could be free and three that just means you can have the rental income to take over for your job um, maybe make sure you have that retirement make or just fill in some of the gaps or even if it's flips, that you're able to just buy flips without, you know, borrowing money, um, whatever it needs. But in three years, if you do this right, we see it all the time, you can be free and off and doing whatever you enjoy in life. So we want to make sure that's our strategy here. So once again, we're an investor focused lending lender. We have been for 21 years, hard money, traditional loans, whatever it be, be bridge loans, gap loans. Our goal is to make sure that you get to the point um, if you're out there doing that you can get free that you can make this work for you that this is something that will, will be put you in a place you want to be i mean that's really what it gets down to you want to be in a place you want to be where you want to go so like i said we've helped thousands and thousands of people over those 20 years and this is just a little bit of information to help those who are just starting out too so or just want to learn a little bit more in a deeper um, aspect of the, the property. So this whole episode is about finding cash flow properties, just the basics. So the first thing that everyone must start with, and you know, we call it a plan, but it's really just a want list. What do you want from this? You need to understand what you want from this. Is it cash flowing properties positive? Is it tax benefits? Is it just, is it taking over all your pay, you know, taking over your whole financial um, income? Or what exactly is it you want from this? What is the, if it is income, what is that income? So we could go through and analyze and find the properties. If you go through this step by step, it's pretty easy to find the properties you need to make the money you want. So. And number two, we're going to go through comfort zones because you have to be comfortable with a property, with an area, wherever you want to invest. So maybe you are someone from a smaller town, you want to invest in a smaller town or someone from the city or you want to invest in your local area. Or maybe your comfort zone is actually investing out of state. Um, what is that comfort zone? And is it traditional loans or rentals or is it VRBOs? What is it that makes you or could make you happy or get you to where you want? This is unique to you and you need to start here to make sure when you actually dive into finding income producing properties, you're happy that in a couple of years, it just doesn't become a burden. Um, and then we're going to show you quickly how to find or how to have people help you find these cash flowing properties. Um, so once again, if you missed the last episode where we went through the introduction, um, some valuation, all that stuff, please check this out because you're going to need to know some of those basics um, in this um, process as you go. So 
If you missed any of the videos, just go back to our YouTube channel, hardmoneymike.com. There's a link here, but just go to hardmoneymike.com. There's a ton of information where we're helping investors, you know, catch up. So, so number one, like I said, it all starts with what you want. Plan comes sometimes kind of sounds a little um, too formal or whatever for some people, but whatever it is, you need to understand what will make you successful and happy through this. Is it the monthly income? And if it is the monthly income, what is that number? Because we need a goal to shoot for. We have a client um, who came to us from a realtor and her, her goal, her plan, uh, starting at age 44 is by 50 to have 50 doors. And then the, by putting this down, by working with a realtor, by working with us, you know, in the first six months, she has four properties that are bringing in over, she's netting over $6,500 a month. And I think the doors of those four, it's actually like seven or eight doors um, because some of them are multi-units. But she found a property in an area that is producing the income she wants. In the same aspect, we have a few clients who are making really good money w 2 right now. And what they're looking for right now is tax benefits. So they're not that concerned about what the monthly income is. It's more where can that grow over the next 10 to 20 years. So when they want to retire, there's a lot of equity there. So they might be buying in higher end areas where the equity grows faster than the income. And if it makes money, great. If not, they're not that worried about it. So what is it that you want out of this? Because you can't go to a realtor, you can't go to a wholesaler and say, help me succeed if we don't know what you want to or what success means to you. So that's what we need to start this whole process out is you designing what will make you happy. Because we can help with the rest. and then figuring out your comfort zone. You have to be a little specific, at least up front. So when we're looking for properties, if you're going to a wholesaler, a property manager, or a realtor, and you say, I want a rental property, they're gonna need to know some information like where, where should we start looking? They're not gonna go look, look the whole state for you. You need to be a little more specific. You need to put some thought into this. You need to be a doer on this too. So you could get to where you want to do. So where, what part of town? Is there a different city? Is there a different state you want to be in? These simple things you must know up front. So everyone here can help you with what we're, what we're trying to do. Um, once you find that area in which you need, and if you're looking for rents to break even or anything, then you have to do your analysis. You need to know some of these things even going up front. Say I'm going to be in Northwest Denver, and that's where I want to be. I'm going to have to go out to Zillow, CraigslistRentals.com, or call a property manager and just say, hey, what are the rents going for? I'm looking for three-bedroom, two-bath homes. If I go into Zillow, there's a little tab that says properties for rent. So what are the competitors, what are the properties on the market right now renting for? You can do that same thing at Craigslist. You can go in there and say, properties for rent or rentals.com. It'll show you what other people are asking. So now you have what the rents are going for and will that cover everything you need? These simple little things, like making sure you know where you want, what you want, and are the rents gonna get you there before you go and find out you know, who could help you? Because people could help you, we all could help you, but we, we need more of a, a direct target and kind of the shotgun approach, like, you know, we'll go wherever it is. That's just a little bit tougher and people will not jump in as much if there's really no direction. You know, if someone comes to you and says, you know, um, I need a three bedroom, two bath in downtown Denver, a condo, it's a lot easier than saying, I just want a rental property. So people could actually chip in and help. Um, when you're looking at that. So when you're also evaluating these things and looking at that, you need to make sure that the the rents and everything are going to cover, get you to your goal. If not, you may have to look at a different zone. You may have to look outside where you want. Once you have all of this information, 
Then we go to the, the three main sources of helpers. We go to wholesalers. And when we go to them, we're gonna go to them with specific areas, wants, and needs, because we wanna get to the top of the list of our three main helpers here, which are wholesalers, retailers, and property managers. So number one, wholesalers. These are people who are out there looking for properties that are off market, and then they wanna sell them to someone else. And guess what? They're finding more properties that are better for investing in rentals than flips just because of the margins. You could buy something from a wholesaler that has a little less um, margin in there just because you don't have to fix it up as much and you're not gonna sell it and you don't have to pay a realtor to sell it and all those other things. There's, if it's a little a rental property, wholesalers find so many more of those deals than they do for fix and flips, but you must get to the top of their list. So when they have a good deal, they're calling you first before they, they send it out to the whole market. And how you do that is show that you're prepared, that you're ready, and that you know what you want. That it's just not whatever you have, we'll look at it and probably never buy anything. Realtor is the same way. As I've mentioned in some of the past um, sessions too, there's all kinds of different realtors, just like there's all kinds of different you know, restaurants. Some realtors and very few will work with investors. So number one, you must put in the time, the effort to call around, to shop around, to ask around, to find the realtors who work with investors. And you must be, when you go to them, show them your plan, show them that you know what you want to do because they have other investors they're working with. And for you to get to the top of the list, you have to be the one who's easiest, fastest, and know specifically what you want to do. And both of these, the wholesalers and the realtors, they want people who are going to close and make them money because that's where they make the money. So also be ready to close. And we'll go through some of those. So the third one that's kind of untapped is property managers. What are property managers and what do they do? They're realtors or real estate based companies that manage rental properties for other investors. And guess what? At every week they have new investors coming in and old investors getting out of rental properties. There's always people getting, you know, young or just getting into investing. And there's other people who are either getting out of just single families, moving to multifamilies or getting to the age where they just want to move on to something else, move that money into something, you know, less than the properties. Maybe they've made all their money. So they're always having properties turned. What do property managers want? They want to keep their book of business. They want to keep all those doors, all those families that are paying a monthly rent and they're getting a portion of that in their books. So when they have someone exiting, they also want someone to take over those properties and keep them with them. So this is a very good way to find properties that are in good rental markets that are already been managed. And there's already a history of um, the management and the maintenance and everything else there. They have all that stuff. That's a great place to start too. But how do you how do you find them and how do you get them, you know, on the top of the list? Number one, I always say the people who get free and three are the doers. The people who are actually, you know, if someone says, hey, you have to go out and find five realtors, they'll go out and find them in a week or they'll go out and find 10. This is something you just can't make one call, find one realtor and hope it works. You are the person who wants to get to the point where you're free and that comes back to you. And once you build a momentum, once you start doing this, you know, you'll find more and more people pitching in. So be that doer, which means you got to find a lot of these people. You got to talk to a lot of realtors. You got to talk to a lot of wholesalers because the only way you get lucky in this business, the only way you find the good deals, is you look at a lot of them. And the only way you really make good money in this, this whole investing world is finding good deals. So you have to find good deals, but to find good deals, you have to look at a lot of deals. So you have to be able to reach out to these people, the realtors, the property managers, and the wholesalers in force and find them. So ask, ask, go to Google, look up who's the property managers, who's wholesaling, who is the investor real estate. But even better, go to bigger pockets, ask in the forums who is a property manager, who 
is you know, a realtor in my area that will help me find who is really working with investors. Even do a Facebook search because some of the realtors have little groups out there that they're creating or go to meetups. Ask, 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 who are the investors? Who are the realtors? Once you find them, the next trick is to get them to put you on top of their list. Not after you know they've talked to the top six or seven of their clients, will they show you a good deal, but get to the top of their list because you want, as soon as a deal comes to a realtor that looks like a great investment property, you want to be one of the first people they call. Once a deal comes in that a wholesaler has, you want to be the person they call first. So, and a property manager, as soon as they see someone who's wanting to get out, they want to get you in. You want to be that thing. So be positive, be active, you know, show them that you are you're prepared, you're ready to go. So be financially prepared because if they come to you and say, have a deal, you don't want to go like, oh, I better go get some, see if I can afford this. You don't want to be there. Once again, they want ease. So make it easy for them to find you good properties. So be prepared, be positive, move quickly, be the person that they, when you call, they want to take your call. When they have a deal, they want to send you that deal. Um, so don't always be, you know, like asking them to do more than you're doing for yourself. Be that person who's out there doing, and you will, you know, find those good properties, just like I said, by looking at all the good properties. And you do that by having enough people in your corner helping you out because they're matching what you're doing. If you're putting in all this effort, they're gonna put in all that effort. So put in the effort to find these properties. So as I said, these, these are just some of the basics. You make money in investing by finding good properties. Money, um, some of the other things will, will work itself out as you go. You find a good property, you will find the money. You can find the, the help on everything else. But finding properties is key. We're starting some, some things to help people find properties too with pay-per-click and some other stuff. But we also have great resources. So go to YouTube. We have a lot of information there where you can learn how to quickly jump into this and become an expert and because, become someone who wants to work with. So go to our YouTube. We have a lot of stuff once again on Facebook. And if you have a deal right now and you want us to look at it and help you fund it, you know, email it to us at Mike at Hard Money Mike or just give us a call. I mean, we are here to help you become successful, but for you to become successful, you must become the person who's out there doing and actively, you know, creating your own luck. Um, so as we said, we have series. So like every first Thursday of the month, we go through funding deals in all the different ways. The second one is all about evaluating and finding deals. That's what this series is. So the next Second Thursday, we're going to go through just evaluating cash flow deals, like a quick valuation along with the quick ROI, but also options to increase rents from VRBOs to, you know, renting rooms that people are doing. And also just making sure that areas that you're looking to invest in are not, you know, becoming, you know, where they're controlling rents and are not wanting VRBOs and stuff. So we're going to go through all those things. So once again, if you have any questions or you have a deal, reach out to us. If you're just trying to get more and more information, go to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of great information. And as always, happy investing. So I'll stick around. Um, we're gonna close this up, but I'll stick around for anybody who has a question. We'll answer those. Or if you have a question, don't wanna ask it here, please email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, thank you and happy investing.